I made this blue ball machine for gold recovering process from e-waste. Watch this video to the end to see how I make this machine. Hope you enjoy. All we need. Plastic box. Plastic bucket. 12 volts water pump. DC motor speed controller that I made in previous video. 12 volts fan. Soap plastic box. First I need cut a place for bucket in plastic box. Cutting with the drill or dremel. Great, it fits. Bucket placed with the space to the bottom. Now, we should make washing tub from a cake baking mold. Finishing workpiece with filing. And sandpaper. Great smooth edges. Drilling holes into the bucket to allow water flows. Holes shouldn't be too big. Drilling hole for pump setup. I use this soap box to make electronic controlling box. Small 12 volts fan from old graphic card to cools electronics. Scratching circles and then cutting with soldering iron.
Nice. Setting up pump speed controller. Drilling hole for adjustment volume. I drilled wrong side, but I correct it later and air circulation holes for fan. I use two mode switch from a hairdryer for adjustable and full power mode for pump. Afterwards, time for final wiring and closing box. Drilling hole for tub water inlet. I want to use this three-way tube after closing one side as water inlet. Fixing with epoxy glue. At meantime, I drill another hole for drain. And I close it with a rubber stopper. Fit and connecting pump hosing.
Connect input wires terminals. And volume knob. It's done. Great. Water drain, water pump, terminals, wires, and washing tub. Great. And I connected this hosing for better water flow. Nice, let's give this machine a test. To test our machine, I decided to add some grinded BGA IC chips powder to machine and see what will happen after several minutes of washing. And this is the result after several minutes of washing and wash the fine particles to the drain and adding fresh water and this is what remained from that fine powder and this is ready to process with acids okay guys it's done and i'm really happy with the result i will use this machine for my next gold recovering project and if you find this video useful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for my new videos thanks for watching